everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll-related videos every single day. And today's video, I'm so excited because we're gonna be reviewing the new Nana Na Surprise mini dolls. These are so cool. So I was fully convinced the Nana Na Surprise dolls were over, but they've been trickling into stores and on Amazon, like the Nana Na Teens line earlier this year had a really, really cool line of dolls. And then the Sweetest Gems, this is not one of them. I don't have any Sweetest Gems yet, but of the regular Nana Na Surprise, they did the Sweetest Gems line. And then these happened and I'm so hyped about these. I feel like the Nana Na Surprise dolls had a hard time um, sticking in the market because they were so expensive compared to other options on the market. Um, and these give us the Nana Na Surprise designs, but more affordable and I'm really excited. And one of my favorite things about these is that they're not actually blind packaged, they're semi-blind. So if you'd like to buy them blind packaged, you can, but if not, they have these tiny little symbols here, which I will show you which one is in each of these little containers based on the symbol. So it's pretty cool. and. Yeah, so I found these at Walmart. They retailed for $9.97 each where I live, so they should be around that price. And if I find any links to these, I'll put them in the description. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just a miniature version of the original Not Enough Surprise packaging. Pretty cute. Hoping it's not as big of a mess, but that was a fun part of the unboxing. And then you can see that this is Series 1, which has the playset dolls, the first series dolls, and I thought like part of the second series, but I don't remember. Um, Anyway, let's get started. So the first one I'm going to be unboxing has this little shape on it and okay <laughs> gotta push down a little harder okay so this is our guide so this is going to tell us which character is in each so i'll show you this right away so you can see the little symbols so you can take a screenshot of that if you want to be able to use it so the one that we're unboxing right now should be Catherine whiskers based on the symbol pretty cool and i just picked out a bunch of the ones that i liked the best based on the symbols i found a picture of the list online thankfully which made it a lot easier also i do believe they're sharing symbols from the original um releases because these are all re-released characters but in mini form <laughs> but funny enough i have almost none oh, wait hmm yeah we'll open this one first so this is gonna be our doll first i think anyway oh i'm starting to think i was supposed to unbox that a different way was i ah okay well now there's confetti so um, that is, uh, part of the Nana Na Surprise brand is this confetti, which to this day at my old house, I feel like the new owner is probably finding these confettis. <laughs> All right, so let's get her out of here. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, so this is, what was her name? Catherine Whiskers. And you can see that now these dolls are quite different than they were before. They have plastic bodies, plastic faces. There's no um, fabric on them. And then their hats are, I believe they're permanent this time. They're glued on. You can take them off, but I'll, I'll show you later what happens when you do that. You can see they're so, so cute. I really hope they do um, larger plastic dolls too, because I think Nana Na has a lot of potential um, in that capacity. They have really, really soft nylon hair as well, which is really nice. They're quite a bit bigger than I was expecting them to be, actually. As you can see, compared to the container, they pretty much this, they're pretty much the same size. So they're about three to four inches. The hair is so soft. And the hats are flocked. They're not fabric hats. They're plastic hats with flocking on them. They're so cute. Oh my god, she's so cute. Okay, let's set her down and then get her accessories out. So I believe they have, yeah, plastic clothing now instead of the printed on or fabric clothing that they had before. These are so cute i love the little outfits and i know these are just reused designs that's why this was genius because they're just using the same designs that they already did um, but making them in mini form which is so much fun oh my gosh <gasps> are these little mini fabric socks you're kidding oh my god so on the original not enough surprise dolls generally stuff like socks and tights and stuff is printed on but it seems like they are not doing printed on accessories on these instead they're doing fabric on the things that would have been printed on like the gloves but we'll confirm that if we get any that will have or would have had gloves i'm not sure um oh my gosh look how cute i put the shoes on the wrong feet um look how cute she is oh my goodness oh get that out of there wow okay and i really love this hair color blend and this is so fun for me because i did not start collecting none and ah until the, I forgot what it was called, but the mermaid, the line that had the mermaid in it, that was my first on an doll. So I missed out on the first several series. So it's really cool to have another chance because I believe the only one of these that was released in this form that I actually have is Tuesday Meow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this was Catherine Whiskers and we've got quite a bit of confetti now. So let's just open this one. So now we have this diamond shape. It's not like a diamond. It's like a little shine star diamond shape. I don't even know what to call it. Okay. So you push in and then pull out. This out of the way. And 
if you don't want to get confetti everywhere, you just... So the original Nana Nas, the thing that they're referencing with all this confetti, um, you would use a straw and, like, blow into it, and then it would pop, and the confetti would get absolutely everywhere. <laughs> and they're not doing that anymore, seemingly, but there is still confetti. Which is kind of an unusual decision, but thankfully I'm opening it on this table. Okay, so you can see that we seem to have gotten the unicorn character, which is this character right here. So, let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we did. Look how cute. I just love the facial style of these. I think Nana dolls have such beautiful art, so it's really cool to see them in plastic doll form. I do really like the fabric dolls, don't get me wrong, but these are just so, so cute. Oh my gosh, and again, the hair is super, super soft, and... Very similar hair blend to Amaya Rain from Rainbow High, actually. Like, never really noticed that. And then, okay, so that's her bigger bag. So now let's open this one. Oh my god, the little socks. <gasps> Look at them! Little unicorn fabric socks. But we need to open this one first, because I assume the dress needs to go on first. Okay, so here's our Amaya Rain from Rainbow High dress. No, really, like, look at it. <laughs> Let's put it on her. I do believe Nana Na and Rainbow High have the same principal designer, or at least um, the principal designer of Rainbow High is on the Nana Na team in some capacity. So that explains that there's uh, quite a bit of overlap in some areas. All right, let's see. It's really interesting to see the sequin piece in this form because they've just, they've like painted it. But honestly, I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty good. And then, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I just, I love Nana Na's. I think they're so precious. Sorry, y'all, I had some trouble putting the little socks on. So there's the tall socks, so, so cute. They're just a little bit tight on her. And we have the right shoe here and the left shoe. These are so, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this, oh, I don't even know her name. Let's see. Who is this? This is Brittany Sparkles. So, so cute. And on the next one, I'm going to show you guys the articulation because I realized that I have not been showing you guys that yet. Sorry about that. All right. So let's open up the next one. We got to push in more. And let's see. I'm so excited. These are so cute. All right. All right. And we're going to be real careful this time opening this so that confetti doesn't get everywhere again. Please. It just, it comes out with this is the problem. Okay. So ooh, I forgot to show you guys which symbol we just did. My bad. Okay. Let's see. The symbol was the square. So just the square. All right. So let's see who we got now. Uh, who is this one? I don't know. Oh, I think it's, um, what animal is she supposed to be? I actually don't know. It's Mina Moody, though. Is she like a lamb, maybe? So this is Mina or Mina Moody. Oh my gosh, the eyes. So, so cute. Look at this one. Alrighty, so she has purple hair and blue eyes, and that is her artwork. So I'm excited to see how they did the little, like, cardigan wrapped around the waist piece. Um... Not sure. Okay, so it's just sculpted, which I personally don't mind. I think it's cute, and they're mini dolls. It works for me, um, but I understand that that's probably going to be a deal breaker for some people because I get it. Like, fabric clothes are more fun to mix and match and generally will fit more dolls, but for me, these work, and I just can't believe the little socks are fabric. That really helps, like, set them apart, I guess. Okay, so here's the little shirt. Misunderstood. The clothing, it's not the same material, but it reminds me a lot of when I was a kid, there were Polly Pockets that were actually about this size and they had gummy clothing. It was more rubbery, which um, degrades over time. This stuff is more likely to survive. And um, not, um, LOL Surprise, the LOL Surprise dolls use a similar method for the clothing. So I assume that's where this came from. Alrighty, and then she has some um, UK flags. I swear there's a word for that. I don't know. Um, some little UK flags on her boots. Let's put this on. Confirmed British. And I, again, I think she's a lamb, but I don't know. I do remember this one from the original Nana Nas, though. Not that I ever had her, but I remember the doll. I remember seeing her because I was so tempted by Nana Na for so long. And I really liked that they were semi-blind. So I'm really glad they continued that because I really could see them making them fully blind packaged for this since they're smaller and cheaper, but I really appreciate that they didn't do that. Alrighty, so here are the dolls that we have so far. They are so cute, but you can already see we're running into the problem. This was the biggest problem when Nana Not first started. Um, almost every single doll was the exact same skin tone. So 
they're redoing the original series of the dolls so they basically all have the same skin tone and there's a few that have a slightly tanner skin tone but it is kind of disappointing i wish that they had included some of the later characters or some of the characters from like the special series to to help um pad it out a little bit i guess but it is what it is. I really hope that these continue so that we can see the later series included. Um, and I'd be really curious to see if they would do the teens, because imagine if they did, like, you can see the size difference between the regular Nananas and the teens. So wouldn't it be so cute to see, like, a 9-inch Nanana Surprise Teen mini? Or just really just, a, it would just be a fashion doll at that point. <laughs> Please, I really want to see Nanana fashion dolls. You can use the same designs you've already done, and I will eat it up. All right, this next one is the snowflake one. So you can see that that should be Aspen Fluff, who I'm very excited about. Um, so let's see her. So cute. And this one is probably my favorite of these designs. Um, her and Tuesday Meow, who um, is very special. So we'll get to her. That's why I'm saving her for last. Okay, so now let's get Aspen out of here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at the little bunny ears. So cute. Oh, I bet she's the reason that the container is the size that it is, because it has to be big enough for the doll plus the tallest ears. Okay, so here's Aspen. Oh my gosh, hi, she's so cute. I just love the hats. I really like the way they did it. Um, it would have been nice if they had done the fabric hats, of course, but I appreciate this. Um, she does have nylon hair, but it doesn't feel as nice as the other ones. I don't know how to describe it. Um, let me show you the articulation, by the way, because I forgot to do that earlier. So, oh, she has little freckles, look. Oh, she's so darling. Okay, this is one that I would probably have picked up the original not, not, the original not enough of. Okay, so the heads are on a ball joint, which is really nice. So you can get some really nice movement there. They have just a very simple movement here. You can't go in and out, but you can go all the way around. And then the legs, this is probably my least favorite method of articulation ever. It's really easy to fix this. All you have to do is carve the joint out more so that they can actually sit because they can't even sit in a saddle, in a straddle here. Like, it just fans out. It's very unusual. I don't know why they do that. Um, and the Nananas are not much better, the original Nananas, but um, yeah. I also, though, I, they wouldn't really be able to sit anyway because of the way that they did the clothing, so I guess it's fair. All right, so now let's see it. her little outfit. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite things that Nanana consistently has in their designs are these adorable, like, oversized sweaters and stuff. They're so cute. And um, on the, like, Nanana Surprise Teens, you can give those outfits to other dolls, like your LOLOMGs and your Barbies and your Rainbow High Dolls, and I just, I love them, I love them, I love them. They're so cute. Okay, so look... Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't wait to see the little shoes. I'm not going to spoil it by looking at the picture again. Let's see. Does every single one have socks? Because I'm actually extremely impressed by that. Like, look, they all have itty bitty little socks and they're they're well done. I appreciate it. They're so cute. Okay. Um, they can be pretty tricky to put on them. So I will be right back. Alrighty. So Aspen is all dressed up. I think this is my favorite one overall. She's so cute. Although I will say her hair is not as soft as the others. And while I was putting on her outfit, I realized that she has tinsel in her hair, but it's not a lot. I really just think I don't like this particular like blend of nylon, this color that they use. Um, it just doesn't feel as nice. Um, one of the socks was super tricky to put on. The other one was totally fine though. And these are the best shoes so far for sure. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. And um, these dolls can actually stand on their own decently well. Some of them anyway, but see? So that's pretty nice. So that's one of the biggest problems with Nanana dolls is that they really can't stand well on their own. And then the only stands on the market that fit them even remotely well are the Kaiser stands, which are my least favorite doll stands ever. And they're super expensive. Um, so that's going to be fun for figuring out how to display these guys too. Um, but I do think I have a solution for doll stands for these. So happy about that. And then this last one was actually a Christmas present from my friend, Pancake Boss, Zach. Um, Said, he um he texted me like because he found these first and I was like oh my god I'm so jealous and he was like which one would you want theoretically and I was like um I said one of the cat ones and he picked out Tuesday for me so this is actually wrapping paper on here funny enough um and I'm so excited so Tuesday is actually the only not enough from this whole set that I already have because um I mean if I recall correctly she's the one that came with the playset I'm pretty sure that I have her um so it's pretty cool to have the little mini version. That's what the coolest thing about these is, is like either you get a chance to have a non and doll that you don't already have and you get to have the design still because it's the same design or you get to have like a mini version that you can use as like a baby or you can use them as like... <laughs> 
just to your main doll for them. So like, I like it. I like it a lot. And I think the scale of doll is really fun too because it works with a lot of dollhouse sets. Oh my gosh, she actually has styled hair. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at her little freckles. So her and Aspen have freckles, which I love. Look how sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she has purple hair. It's braided. It's got some blend of blue in there, which is very cute. And I love the green eyes too. And her precious little black cat hat. So all the cats have the same hat, seemingly. All right, so now let's dress Tuesday up. So first in here, you can see her outfit. So her outfit is huge. Look at this. So it has a puffed out skirt. So, okay, wait, this might actually end up being my favorite outfit because I really like um, the idea of having like a poofier skirt on them. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, so there's the little outfit. Oh my god. So she's wearing a black cat dress with a long-sleeved white polo underneath, and the polo has a black collar and black little sleeve cuffs on it. So cute. She does not want to play nice with my lighting, though. And then let's take a look at her little shoes. Yep, she has socks, too. So everybody comes with socks. So I guess that's something I didn't really notice on the original Na 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 designs, at least from these series. They all must have come with socks. So it seems like everybody has socks except potentially her. Interesting. But look, so Mina didn't have socks in her design, but they added them. So, hmm, I don't know. Uh, but let's get the socks on her. They're just so cute little cat socks. Oh my god. Let's put them on. And then the shoes are these little boots. I think the ones with the boots are definitely my favorites. I think they look the best. Alrighty, so now all five of my new Not Enough Surprise mini dolls are unboxed. So... Hmm, let's see who my favorite is. So we have Tuesday, Aspen, Brittany. They're not going to stand, so I'm going to have to hold them. <laughs> well, uh, and then this one is Catherine, and this one is Mina. So I will say that I definitely like the ones with the curly hair the best. I think it's the softest and most fun to play with. Oh, but now we get to the cursed part of this video. So... I mentioned that the hats don't come off, but they are lightly glued on, so you can actually get them off pretty easily. And let me show you um, what's going on underneath the hats, because it's quite fascinating. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, there's a plug. Interesting. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to pull this carefully out of the plug. All right, my friends. So here's the hat. It's not meant to come off, but you can get it off with a little bit of force. Now, would you like to see what was going on underneath the hat? So, similar to the original Na 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 dolls, they don't have a full head of hair because they're kind of just meant to have the hat on. And it's not meant to be removable. It was not removable in the original ones either. Although, later on, they, start, they started doing, like, full heads of hair. But on these, they continued <laughs> this. So, as you can see, the hair is just rooted around in a circle. And then the hat just sits on top and there's a peg to keep it in the head and it's glued on. Now, I would, I will say that when I was a kid, anytime there was something that felt like it could come off but wouldn't come off on a doll or any other toy I had, I would rip it off. So that would, like, that would scare me so bad as a kid. Um, I hope that if these do continue, they do the full heads of hair, but I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I understand that they couldn't do the full heads of hair here, that, though, because the hats would not be compatible with it at that point. So I kind of understand what they're doing here, but, you know, it's always better to have a more versatile doll, but I see why they didn't bother with these. And these are so, so cute. These definitely surpassed my expectations. I think that they are absolutely darling. Um, my one, my biggest complaint other than the hair thing, because the hair thing doesn't bother me that much. The thing that bothers me the most is that they don't come with any sort of stand. Um, these are $10, which puts them at about $5 less than the original Na 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 dolls were. And if you look at the original Na 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 dolls, which are something like this, they come with the full fabric outfit. They're fabric. They're like stockinette dolls. They have a plastic body underneath. And, you know, the difference here for about $5 is not the best, you know? Um, but there's a lot of positives with these dolls, I think. I almost always prefer a plastic doll over a fabric one. I think they're more versatile. They will last longer generally. They don't, uh, they're don't. they easier to clean and restore. Um, with the Na 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 dolls, because they are similar to stockinette dolls, it is really difficult to clean them. So if they get stained, you might be out of luck. You might just have to like buy another one at that point, which really sucks. So I really appreciate these. I will always prefer 
a plastic version and I do prefer these for sure and I'm so excited about them. These are definitely going to allow me to collect the Nana Na dolls, which I did not do before. I do have some Nana Na dolls in my collection, but I don't have a whole lot um, just because they were so expensive and these are much more exciting for me. I really, really hope that if these do succeed and Nana Na is able to survive, that they expand to the teens. I would love to see how they do them. Although I would worry, like, would they do plastic clothing for them too? Because at that point, they'd be pretty big, right? Because they'd be double the size of these. I don't know. But they would be so, so cute. I think these are adorable, and I think they translated the style of the faces really, really well on these. That was one of the biggest problems for me with the original Nana Na's too, is just that the print quality was never high enough on the faces. Because um, they just have such nice designs. The artwork was always so pretty, and you can tell that the print they used was so, so pretty. But you can see, like, the, the knit fabric. You can just see all the lines and I, that wasn't my favorite so I really really love that I can see their faces much better on these and these are just so cute I hope we get to a point where they start doing new designs in this form because I think MGA is just trying to figure out how to keep Nana Na going because it seems to have lost a lot of steam although I could be wrong I think this is one of those situations like Mattel's and Channel's dolls where they sell really really well online and in overseas markets but they don't sell well really in stores um but I'm not sure I don't know the sales numbers um MGA is a private company so it's just something you have to guess. It seems like Nana Na wasn't doing super well, but I'm also an adult collector and I don't know what's going on with kids, you know? And they did leave stores to be fair. A lot of them did clearance out, but they did at some point leave stores as in like actually get bought and stores continue to buy them. And stores don't continue to buy them unless they're selling. So I don't really know. It's very interesting, but I really, really like this new direction and there's more coming. So there's already confirmed to be play sets for these, which I'm Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Because the Nanana playsets are the best playsets in the game. Like, I love them. The Nanana Surprise Kitty Cat Camper, the little car, the little backpack houses that they have, they are all such nice quality, fun playsets, and all the accessories were so cool. So I cannot wait to see what comes next from these. They're just, they're really cute, fun little dolls. They're easily accessible, and um, I think it's pretty accessible to be able to collect them all over time, you know? And I think that's super fun. There's some of these that I'm not super interested in, but I don't know. We'll see. If you'd like to see another video of these, let me know. Even if not, I'll, I'll be buying them, so you'll see them around in my collection. Um, but I can't wait to figure out how I'm going to display them and play around with these dolls. These are the type of doll that would be super fun to just, like, chuck in your pocket and bring places and take pictures of and stuff. Like, a good little friend doll to carry around, which I always love. I used to do that with my My Little Ponies. The G4 ones were really small, so you could do that really easily. <laughs> so I think that'll be super cool with these and... Yeah, I just I I just feel like you could you could really like hit these dolls with the car and they would stay in pretty much the same condition. And I'm not going to elaborate on what that means. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they, they they could go through a lot is what I'm saying. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I'd love to know which one is your favorite and why. I mm, it's really close for me between these two. I think they both look super good, but this one's hair is not as fun for me to play with. Um, but this one's in a style, but it's softer. And I know this is that, I believe anyway, this is shiny nylon, which I just don't like the feel of shiny nylon as much, so I believe that's what my issue is. I don't mind tinsel. I actually really like tinsel. Um, I'm just surprised there was tinsel. While I was putting her outfit on, I saw it, and I was like, oh, I didn't even notice. It's mostly in the back. You can see it here. Very, very cute. And I, I like these boots better. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with her being my favorite. These ones over here will probably be my favorites to play with, because I really, really love how soft their hair is. The curly hair is just super, super soft. Nylon also holds styles really well, so I feel like if this hair got super messed up, you could just brush through it and curl it back and it would magically stay. Oh yeah, they also, I appreciate that they don't come with a bunch of nonsense, like a hairbrush. Truly, I, I understand that if like something's your first doll, then you don't have a doll hairbrush, but enough's enough after a while. The amount of doll hairbrushes I have is actually mind-blowing. <laughs> So, you know, uh, but I really wish they'd come with a stand. Just something simple. Like some LOL dolls will come with a little circle that has little footholds in it. That would have been so nice. It would have been so helpful. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know who your favorite of the original run of Nana Na dolls was, um, specifically this size ones. I don't know how to answer that or not even the original run. I just mean like in general, the ones that are this, the original size, these ones. My favorite one is Liling Luck from one of the more recent series. I don't even remember what that series was called, but I love her. I think she was the most recent series other than the Sweetest Hearts and the Gems, whatever the Gems were called. I probably said it earlier. Um, but yeah, 
that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching for all this time bye